Hey guys, Shane Simmons here coming at you. And this video is about Williamson, West Virginia. It ends kind of abruptly because unfortunately, as often is the case, I'm a victim of weather. There was a torrential downpour that hit just out of nowhere. I tried to wait it out, but it just wasn't happening. It's starting to get later in the day and it's really going to get dark and there's nothing I can do. But you know, like I always say, it just gives me a really good reason to come back. So there'll probably be a sequel to this video. I did get most of the things I wanted to get videoed in it. So I think it's well worth showing. I just wanted you to let you know. It's like, oh, it feels like it just kind of cuts off. Well, it kind of cuts off, but hey, I shall return. Anyway, I definitely wanted to donate, uh, to dedicate this one to Iris Lee Underwood, who has some special attachment to Mingo County. She lives in Michigan now, but she made a super generous donation to me a few days ago. And also to Jerry Murphy and to Robert Morgan, all of which made this trip possible. And I was looking uh, right before Christmas Try not to use my credit card. Desperate, because I got three kids and I did not want to run anything up. And by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I made it. But I took my daughter to the Speedway and Lights to see that at the, at the Bristol Motor Speedway. And sure enough, she has a dirty diaper in the middle of it. And then as we are pulling out, she's throwing a fit, wanting an ice cream cone. Well, anyway, I get distracted, speeding like a demon. I get pulled over, guilty of sin. Got slapped with a big fat ticket. So ended up putting some stuff on the credit card after all. and. So I had on, I was like a little kid with a Christmas wish list. I kept looking for a new camera all the time. I've been wanting one for so long. And um, I just had to put it off. I was like, there's just no way. And then out of, like out of the clear blue sky, uh, these donations came in. It was almost exactly to the dime what I needed to buy a new camera, which will be in later this week, hopefully. So I, I can't tell you how much this means to me. I mean, I got emotional about it last night. I was thinking, gosh, man, you know, I believe in God. I think that's what happened. You might believe in karma or serendipity or whatever. Something happened to make this happen for me to almost, to, almost to the dime. And I just want to let you know how much I appreciate everything everybody's done. And it's, it's this is bigger than me. It's not just about helping me out and some poor old boob that gets around do that does these. I've had people from multiple countries just in the last couple of months. I've had Indonesia, Germany, Ireland, Scotland, England, Canada, Argentina, I had Australia, I've had all kinds of different, I may have said Germany, but yeah, uh, different countries that have sent me messages about how much they enjoy watching these videos and learning about our country and our culture, and, and because all they see is New York City or Los Angeles, and they don't want, you know, some political spin or anything else, it's just telling them what it is, what's there, showing them good, bad, and ugly, what's there, and I think that's why people support this channel, and I think that's why I'm, you know, people make these donations and I want you to know it's appreciated beyond me. God knows I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. But it, this thing is bigger than me at this point. I was stunned at how many people I've heard from. And, and it's funny too, because just a few months ago, if you remember, I was going to have to cut this channel off, the Appalachian Project one, Shane Simmons, we started it. And uh, all of a sudden it's like, that was the, the biggest blessing in the world is that all, the subscriber number more than doubled in about two months. And we ended up, I had had up to that point, maybe a million, a little bit over a million views since the channel started. I got over a million views in like two months. No, it was actually less, it was a month. In a month, I got a million views. So doubled the whole views in a month. So I don't know what's going on. I can't get rid of this channel now. It's just too big. Um, but what I'm going to do is start adding, doing mostly just travel ones on this one, the, when I visit places, because I don't want to bait and switch you and add these other videos I've been doing on my other channel here. And on the Shane Simmons channel, I'll do the, I'll upload all these, but I'll also add some of the other more um, off the travel topic. And I also want to give a shout, shout out to our patrons, Michael Ganecki, Kara Wyatt, Rasnick, Patty Teague, Jonathan Gartland, Andrew Dysecker, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, uh, Carol Wilder, Kimberly Carr, D. Simmons Alban, no relation, believe it or not, and Gary, doesn't have a last name on here, many have signed up just in the last few days. I really appreciate you guys, man. Your support is amazing, too. I just, uh, it really helped to put gas in the tank and get me out of, of the yard, really. And I, it can be, the patron, it starts at a dollar, goes up to 25 bucks a month, depending on what you want to do. Um, but it makes a huge difference for me, and, and any amount is massive. Because it really, some of these places I go to, does it honestly, is not that expensive. You know, it just, but it does, everywhere it takes gas and puts wear and tear on the old car and, and that type of thing and it just i just like to have the support i like knowing that people really value what we're trying to accomplish here because like i said before we're we're just trying to tell the real story of appalachia real real people real places not trying to spin you into thinking one 
the voting a certain way or anything else. The, the least of my concerns is how people do those things. I might tell you how, or I might tell you why people vote the way they do, but I do have no interest in trying to persuade people into seeing the world the way that I see it. So anyway, I just try to present it out there and let you guys check it out for your own self. I've got a several, I've got a pretty large shit list of, of towns I'd like to visit this year as well. I've got Mount Airy, North Carolina. I've really checking into staying at the Andy Griffith home place, and I'd love to do a live video from there. Uh, it's about somewhere in the vicinity after taxes, about 200 bucks a night. So obviously it's a little steep, but um, I'm working on getting that one done. Pocahontas, Virginia, I did a terrible video on it a few years ago, and it deserves a lot better than what I did. So I will absolutely be going back there um, in the near future. We've got Rogersville, Greenville, and Jonesboro, Tennessee. It's a shame I haven't already done those, but those are definitely stories that need to be told. And soon, I've got my old hometown, Richlands, Virginia. I've had that on here for a long time, but I, it's a little emotional and want to make sure I do a good job with it. So, But it, the time is here to do that one. Then we got Blowing Rock, North Carolina, Grandfather Mountain in North Carolina. We've got Paintsville, Kentucky, and definitely also Hazard, Kentucky. All those things I'm hoping to get accomplished, and I've got more. But I'd also love to hear from you guys, too, if there's places you want to see me go to. I, it helps a lot to know what you're interested in. Um, just because I think something's great may not mean a hill of beans to anybody else. So don't hesitate to offer some suggestions. Appreciate Mr. Morgan suggesting Pocahontas last night and Galax and um, War West Virginia again. And um, so hopefully be able to knock some of these out. And I just love hearing that kind of feedback because it gets me excited to know Hey, somebody's going to watch this, care about it, and be interested, uh, and it really helps a lot. But like I said, thanks for the support and the growth. Sorry I went on so long today, but it's the first of the year. I don't get it. I don't do this a whole lot, and I'm used to getting downvoted anyway. There's people that just live to do that. I thought I'd give you guys a shot at the old Williamson Memorial Hospital. You can see that roof. Uh, I'm up there, caving in on it on this side. Here's more of the structures up through here. From what I understand, it's being converted into a haunted house, which would be a perfect use for it. It's still an impressive structure, a lot of history and it's a spooky place to be, I'm sure. A little bit windy, yeah. You might be picking that up. Yeah, what the heck, let's just go up here and look in the door, see what's going on. You can see me, that's the only ghost you see. If I'm not mistaken, there's a tremendous view of the city of Williamson when I get over here. go down there after midnight probably but here comes that view yeah here it is doesn't get much better than that Your birds chirping. And here's a side view. Some of those structures. A lot of windows knocked out here. Let's see if I can peep in here. Let's see what we got. Private property, no trespassing. So this is about as far as I'll get. old structures like that just checking them out one of the 
last little shot of what it looks like over there, and then we'll move on down the road somewhere. Actually, I'm in hindsight, I'm not sure that that's part of the hospital or not. Somebody can, I'm sure somebody will tell me real quick, like in the comments. So, let me know what this building was over here. If you see, happen to see this. All right, driving down the heart of the city of Williamson, West Virginia, which is also the heart of the billion dollar coal fields. If you look around some of these buildings, now it looks like off to the right, you can see, well, a couple of different things. I'll get closer to that before we talk about it. And Williamson still, even at this point, got, as of the last census anyway, around 3,000 people live here, which is fairly good size for a Appalachian coal town. But as you can see, this was once a very prosperous place. It was very much booming back in the good old coal days. Like I said, it's known as the heart of the billion dollar coal fields. It's also the heart of Mingo County, just right up the road from Maywan. See that really cool bridge they got over there. All right, so here's the Mountaineer Hotel. I'll jump out and talk about it in just a second. And the coal house, but I just want to give you a little bit of a view here. So I just pulled over and I'm give you a little shot of the Mountaineer Hotel. A little shot of customers going into the Mountaineer Hotel. Um, and it's right down the road from the coal house as well. It's really neat. You can see the old barber shop to the left there. Walk up this road in just one second and give you a little bit of the downtown view. I know a lot of people like to see that kind of stuff and <clears throat> still decorated for Christmas. You can see the little snowflakes up there right there. In case you're blind. Oh, let's see. Just, might as well use my fingers while I've still got them. Several famous people stayed at the Mountaineer. There's a lot of people that come for entertainment, politics, and that kind of thing. Here's an old parking garage. It's kind of funny now because they uh, got a couple ATVs here, which is a huge booming business in Mingo County. I had no idea how much that would take off, but everywhere you go, you run into a ATV of some sorts. And here's the, it's a Tug Valley Chamber of Commerce now, but it's known as the Coal House. As you can see, it's built in 1933. And the statue of Chief Logan is out here from the Mingo tribe, which is where Mingo County gets its name. So we're right beside Logan County as well. It's just right down the road a little bit. I think that building is so neat. Looks like the Chief's getting a little bit dry in here, though. We need to put a little water in there. Oh, well. Buy local or buy local, boy, ain't that the truth? And as you can see in there, a little merch for sale. And a little memorabilia from coal mining days. I see a possum light down there. Let's see, let's see. Super cool thing to see. This is made of good old bituminous coal. <clears throat> mm. 
don't know, Chief Logan didn't look too happy today. I don't know, probably needs a coat on. And there's a little display that tells a little bit about Mingo County. I got a little snowman, why not? Like I said, this is about as booming a place as it, you could find around back in the good old coal mining days. It's a lot like Welch, West Virginia, which was in McDowell County, just down the road. The Mountaineer parking. You can see the sign. I hope you can read that. It says Hamilton Building 1914. So this thing dates back pretty good ways. That would have been back when mining was really booming. You can imagine what it was like when money was just flowing like crazy down through here. So much prosperity and all that coal business is essentially gone. Thought I'd give you a shot of that. That's again the valley, the valley, the Tug Valley, I should say, Chamber of Commerce, and also known as being from being made of coal. There's something kind of similar. Oh, there's little sign on top about 2021 it's kind of cool there's a similar building built in Middlesbrough Kentucky I'll have to get a shot at someday in the coal house built 1933 so the sign tells a little bit about the construction of it building constructed of Winifred seam coal mined and donated Tell us a little bit about some of those places. We have some high school coaches bench. Okay. Let me just get on down the road here and show you a little bit more of good old Williamson. I'm going to do a plug for dandies. While I'm at it, why not? A neat little display in this window. Like we're about to run into an extremely handsome man. Oh wait, that's me. Anyway, let me take it on down the road here. Can't not help come to Williamson and get a shot at this one hour dry cleaning sign. Everybody loves it. I posted a picture of this a few years ago. People went nuts. So I'd be very remiss to not put that in this video. Kind of neat. Obviously it does not have one hour dry cleaning anymore. It is. See Christopher Younger, attorney at law. Free ad for you. Mr. Younger, you're welcome. Feel free to send me a check. Let's see. And there's a Mingo Memorial. Home of the Mingo County Health Department now. And if you uh, walk over here, you can kind of see the bridge in the background. I was trying to zoom in on that. That green bridge is really cool. Flood wall. Heck, I'm feeling all wild. I might just walk up here. I can figure out how to get up there. Give you a shot of that. Before I do that, I'll give you another look at this down the stretch. Leo's Garden. We're looking the river and believe you me, this place so area is notorious for flooding, that's why they built this flood wall. Uh, but then once you see that bridge, how neat that looks. Absolutely love that.
I'm gonna walk back down here. See something, a sign that says something about what makes you happy. Let me get a shot of that, why not? There's a cardinal. And I'm from Virginia, so I like that one. Oh, this is really neat. How high was the tug? April 5th, 1977, 52.56 feet. And explains why we have a flood wall. What makes you happy? Amy makes me happy. Merry Christmas. I guess else. somebody was here. My best friend. 5'8", 1984. See how high that flood got. And I bet the chalk is yep. too wet for me to use. Well, let me see. There's a piece here. And I'm going to put C. Christopher Younger makes me happy. Attorney at law. That's a cool name. Makes me happy to say that name. Also makes me happy to be in Mingo County. And I'm just going to hog this whole wall. That's what makes me happy.